Hello everyone. So, in the gap between episodes I created this face, which hasn't been textured yet, um, and uh, it's going to be the face of your pilot that you can modify to look more or less like whatever you want. So I've given it large features because I want its expressions to show up very clearly uh, when it, uh, even when the, it is only a small part of the screen. So for example, you might have an image of your pilot in the upper hand corner or the pilots of the rest of the ships. Uh, and you'll be able to see the expressions they're making very clearly because they've got large eyes and big mouths. So to show you, you can make expressions using these blend shapes. Uh, come on, just take this down to zero manually. So you can watch this guy or girl or whatever he is, and you can see that their their blend shapes quickly make them able to do various expressions quite easily. But I received some questions when I was doing a different kind of blend shape tutorial earlier on about how to do blend shape animations here in Unity. Um, unfortunately, this version of Unity doesn't import blend shape animations from Blender. I have a feeling that'll be soon. I, I think that in the next couple of updates they'll probably put that in. But until then, you can't update, you can't do direct, bl uh, direct key animations from Blender. You have to do them here in Unity. There's a couple of ways to do some fun stuff around that, but instead of doing any kind of crazy workarounds, I'm going to go just go ahead and animate here in Unity. So this is that's what this tutorial is going to be about. We're going to go ahead and build some animations that use keyframes. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and put in a light so that we can see what we're doing, and then we're going to move the main camera so that it's right up against his or her head so that we can see it when it plays real easily. Ready for your close-up? There you go. Now the next thing we can do is we can add in a window, the animation window. Here it is. And I'm going to put it right on top of this so we can see it real clearly. So this animation window might look familiar to those of you who have done animation in Unity before, but if you haven't noticed, there's actually a new variant. There's the dope sheet and the curves, and they're two different pages. Right now, I'm not actually recording anything, so I don't have access to the dope sheet. I think I have to hit record first. So let's go ahead and hit record, and we'll save it as a uh, smiley face. There we are. And we can switch between the dope sheet and the curves. The dope sheet animation is really great for blocking out the animations. So for example, um, here in the dope sheet I can animate anything I'd like. Uh, so let's go into our head and let's look down at our skin mesh renderer and we have the blend shapes, frown, grin, and purse. Let's make the grin here. Well, let's take it from zero and then over here at one second let's put it at 100. And you can see that now, or is the, there's got to be a spot I can click to drag, oh there it is. You can see that they smile. Now if we were to go over to the curves and take a look at that, we should be able to see it somewhere. Where are you? There it is. And we can adjust exactly how fast we would like the smile to be. So that's not, so, uh, add in another point here and then we can adjust it to say smile rapidly at the beginning and then taper off like so and that'll give us a, a very specific kind of smile see and that's how you do it that's an animation you can play that animation in fact it should be on by default so if we hit play we get that smiley and you can do this kind of an arbitrarily complicated fashion so we can switch back over to the dope sheet it goes from 0 to 1 with the smile, but we can bring it down again and mix it and merge it with another blend shape. So let's pull in the, the purse. There we are. And that's going to start here at 0, just like always, but we're going to go ahead and adjust it uh, such that it is 0. Yeah, that's correct. And then over here at 1, we're actually going to pull this back to... Uh, there, that's about right. And we're gonna make this into um, make this into a 100 for this guy, 
and then we'll bring it back down to 60 here, and we'll make the purse equal to 30. And then here, the purse will still be 0, and then we can add in the purse over here, too. Maybe here. Yeah, there, that's fine. Change this to 100, and bring the smile all the way down to 0. And so now we should have a character that smiles and then purses their lips. Oh, what a kissable face he has. Or she, or it. Whatever. Um, so that is the basic idea of how to do blend shape animations in Unity. And I'll be creating a variety of facial expression animations. There's no reason for me to do it on screen. Um, and I don't think I'm going to implement it uh, into the proper game anytime soon. This is content that I will be adding later on. Um, there's not even a pilot in the game right now. I just wanted to show you that it's actually pretty easy to do this. I mean, I knocked that head out in about an hour, um, including the blend shapes. Uh, and it's not a perfect head. I have to fix the mouth so that we can uh, open it and show teeth. But, um, you know, for half an hour of work, it's not, or for an hour of work, and then, you know, it's not too bad. I've got a texture it and put on some hair and stuff like that. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to do blend shape uh, animation in Unity, or shape key animation, whatever it's called. That's it.